All right, guys, it's like 11.30 now. Um, I got up at like 9, so I was just in bed and watched some random videos. Um, the hotel room is pretty nice. I guess I will go for a tour later. Look at me, that's me right now. Um, but yeah, first I take a shower, get something to eat for breakfast slash lunch because it's like getting a little bit late. Um, I will probably not play the main event today. I'm playing it tomorrow because today is Thursday, and I think there will just be more fun players on Friday. Maybe that's just a weird assumption, but I think it makes sense. So yeah, and today I will just play like I don't know, like a 120 uh, six max, and then like maybe some team stack poker turbo or something. You know, just fire a bullet in those and see how that goes. And then we ship the main event tomorrow. Hopefully, like I'm fucking ready, guys. There's a lot of money up top. Let's make this tra trip like really profitable. I take a shot at the main event right now. I only sold like 25% of my action there, so it's a big buy in for me. Um. Holy shit, I have only seen this place by night, but now, during the daytime, it looks kind of nice. By the way, I have to get used to people driving on the wrong side of the street. Yesterday, like, one guy, he got out of the car, like, in the middle of the intersection. I was like, what the fuck, why is he leaving his car like that? But then I realized, like, that the wheel is on the other side, right? So he was already, like, the driver was still sitting in there. I was so confused for a sec. All right, team, finally got all the things I wanted to get. Um, I'm going back to the hotel to brush my teeth, because I'm pretty sure I don't smell too good. And also got some deodorant and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, gonna do that and then probably I will hit up Tonk on Twitter and see if he's somewhere around because I don't know many of the people on the 88 like, event. Um, yeah, and then I will probably just stop by there. Stay tuned. So, yeah, guys, uh, I will be playing the event today. Actually, I thought I would play it tomorrow, but I talked to Tonk. I actually put, didn't put him in the vlog at all. We'll do that later. Um, I talked to him and I think it's better to. Be streaming it later today uh, to be playing it today so I'll just go home chill for like half an hour and then come back and you know get some fresh air get some drinks and then be ready to you know grind it all a bunch and hopefully win it so yeah going home now and then we will hopefully win it you know make day two just like the reason he said that today is better is like the, tomorrow all the ambassadors um, ambassadors here for like uh, for the B run um, and so there will be good players and then also the uh, online qualifiers will be here tomorrow because they don't want to come in here today, make day two and then uh, like off Friday, right? So it's apparently it's smarter to play today and that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so we're just walking back to the hotel now. And, you know, chill for like an hour, half an hour. Um, right now the blinds were like really, really low and I want to play with like 100 big blinds, not like 300. I'm sitting on 35k now. Um, I was up to 40k and I had to call the Tamik Ben Shaim when I opened 45 suited. <laughs> Classic suit connectors. Um, so I lost that. But we're sitting on 35k. Crazy table. Antonio is on my table. He's sitting over there doing an interview right now. In the yellow shirt. And besides that, on my table is also Kara Scott and two other crazy guys who are just going all in because like the five over five. There was five minutes left to the uh, for re-entry. So everybody wants to jump in and um, yeah, they went a little bit crazy. I was just hoping here, like every time opening my hands, like ace, ace, ah, didn't happen. But you know, I'm motivated, I'm hyped, it's fun, and hopefully you can do good. Sorry guys for the delayed vlog. I busted the event a couple, event, I busted the event a couple of hours ago. Um, I know not many things went my way. I just had to wait for a good hand and so on. And you know, pretty much I just planned out a little bit, had then like. 18 big blinds, or like, no, I was down to 15 big blinds when I busted. A small blind limps, um, I check my 10 8 off, flop is check 8 7. So I have the middle pair, he checks it, uh, he bets around half pot. Um, I call with my 10 8 and turn is an ace, and he snap champs. I think for like just a second, ask him if he has the ace, he says yes. I call, <laughs> he shows up a king three. So we have him dominate, he's drawing two three outs, and he exactly hits the king on the river. 
And yeah, we're out of the event. That's it for the day. Um, not much we could have done there. I think I played really well. As I said, just a setup there. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was unfortunate. Good news though. I talked to some insane people. I met Dominic Nietzsche and some other guys. And it was pretty actually cool. Like I had a good chat with him. He's an awesome dude. And I'm going to play another bullet tomorrow. Which is, I don't know, I'm excited for it. It's another big buy in. Sold some action and hopefully we can do better tomorrow. Or like run better. I think, as I said, I think all my spots were standard. I was just getting unlucky. As I only had breakfast today, haven't eaten anything. I was at the after party and had a beer. Yeah, I just I drank something. Also got a gin tonic actually. I didn't pay for anything, just got everything for free, which is kind of cool. It's just like so cool. Like I will be at, uh, have an interview tomorrow with Poker News as well. Um, or like, I don't know, an interview, you know, like a weird format like that. Um, so it's exciting, man, it's exciting. It's it's crazy to be in that world, you know, sit on a table with Esfandi Ari, play pot heads up versus him, and just stuff like that. It feels a little bit unreal. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I always want to achieve, and I have it right now. Um, event is a lot of fun so far, though. Um, the venue looks really, really cool. Tables are cool. People are cool. Like, I have top not um, chats at the table like we're talking the entire time and it's just it's just really good vibes so i really like the event also like the 88 guys are awesome so and we just chatted had a couple like had a pint and you know just talked about life and everything and really good vibes i'm excited about this event guys yo what's up team i'm still at the hotel when i look at today's buying it's a two fun 500 pound chips Life book is fucking crazy. Like two fucking chips, like two, you know, that's just worth 1,000. Like what the fuck is that? Um, just a buy-in for today. I uh, will take another shot at 880. Hopefully we do better than yesterday and can win some. So yeah, I'm just getting ready and then we hit it. Um, actually, I can go for like a little room tour here. It's a little bit messy, you know, but what else? What else? That's like a real, real blur here. So wait, so let's, let's go from the entrance. All right. So this is the opening door, and this is the hall. There we go, this is my suitcase, my shoes, laptop, just watched a little bit of Netflix, and it's a nice little bed. And man, there's like mirrors everywhere over here, like look at that, there's a mirror, right there's one, we have the TV, and a mirror to the right and the left. I haven't watched any TV yet, um, but yeah, it's a pretty nice hotel, actually the nicest I've been to, but I haven't been to many good hotels, you know, I'm more of like the guy that sleeps in his car type. <laughs> I got some stuff over here and that's the bathroom. I got some, some stuff there, another mirror. Special clothes mirror. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay, sorry. And yeah, just like a nice shower, man. It's like raining down there. Oh my god. It is sweet. So yeah, that was the short hotel room tour. Gonna hit it now and grab like a little, a little, little lunch. And then um, win some Chinese. Let's go. Yo guys, it's dinner break now. I sit on, I don't know, 50k. 30k was starting, so not too bad. Um, doubled with King Queen versus Queen 10 on Queen 8-5. Um, like super standard spot there. And after that, I know just like I got it up through, then I had to fold it straight because the flash got there. And just like little things like that, now I'm sitting on 50k. I have to wait and yeah, dinner break. I'm hungry as fuck. I only had like one cookie for breakfast. That was like everything I ate today. Um, so yeah, that's it for the day. And uh, not for the day. One hour dinner break and then another three hours of play. Crazy roller coaster towards the end of the day, guys. Yeah, Scarflero is back in action. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> so I was like. As I said, we won with like King Queen on Queen 8, 5 versus Queen 10, then had like 50k. And from there on, just, I was just waiting for hands, didn't get anything, put out a 3 bet, got caught, missed a flop, like horrible, had to fold. And I was like missing bots for quite a while. And then I was like down to 24k actually. On the starting stack again, uh, but gnomes, I jam Ace King in the big band for like 15. She tanks a little bit and then makes the car with Ace 6 suited. Um, and flop is 5, 7, 8. I'm like not like this, but we hold. And so I doubled up there and had uh, 45k again. Like a couple of hands later, um, I get kings, UTT opens, I 3-bet, small, uh, I think the small blind or the button, one of those two champs it. I obviously snap, he has ace-king. 
Um, he has a flush draw on a turn, but we hold that as well. So we suddenly we have like 90k, like actually 100k at one point, because the race got through, and I was feeling pretty good at that point. Um, then it was announced the final three hands of the day are now dealt, and so the second last hand of the day actually I get queens, and UGG opens for like the fifth time in a row. They were just going pretty damn crazy there. Um, Um, yes, I don't know. Some police action. Um, so yeah, I three bet him with queens, ready to get it in with like f I don't know 40, 50 big blinds at that point uh, because like he's aggressive as fuck. Um, he calls it though. I'm a little bit su surprised. Flop is like check seven x of hearts. So three hearts out there. We don't have a queen of hearts. Um, he checks it to us. I take it back. I know at this point I don't want to get like abused too hard. I just want to play a little bit small ball there and yeah so the turn is the seven of clubs nothing changes he checks it again to me I put out a you know decent sized bag like two thirds pots two two third pot and he calls it and then the river is a check and he puts out a pretty big bet with like 25k and I uh, tanked at least like for, for a short while and then make the call because even though like the, I think the check is just a good card from like a lot of people think the check is a good card for them to bluff I don't have a set because I would bet it on a flop I think and so I feel like he could turn like he's, he was probably an amateur and I think he can turn a lot of like his ace ace 10 with the ace of hearts king queen with the king of hearts and we block that you know but I think he has enough bluffs then enough like weaker hands that he might bet for value I'm not quite sure to be honest, but I make the call with Queens, he turns over East Nine of Hearts to and flop the flush. And yeah. I don't know, maybe give me your thoughts on the hand. I will talk to a couple of people and give, get their opinion. Um as I said, it's an interesting spot, you know, it's a tough one as well, but I just felt in that spot, Queens is probably one of the best hands I've ha I have. You know? So I feel like we kind of have to call that. Since, as I said, I don't ever have a boat there, and I feel he's laughing this amount on the check, and he has been quite aggressive, so I made the call and lost. So, yeah, now we made day two though, sitting on 45k. Average is 90k from this day, but like tomorrow, like, tomorrow there will also be yesterday's player, uh, players that made day two, so I'm not sure what spot we will be in, probably at the end of the field, I think. Like 60 people made day two, and like today and yesterday, like 20 or 25. So I guess we are like 75th of 85 or so going into tomorrow, maybe a little bit less. Now. So it's not looking great, but one double up and we're on average and are cruising. So hopefully, we can get that done tomorrow. And now I'm just walking home. home. I'm tired as fuck. The event is starting at 12 a.m. tomorrow, or 12 p.m., you know what I mean, like noon. And yeah, we'll probably get some. Great breakfast before. Uh, yeah. Right now, just Netflix and chill and crush tomorrow. Cheers.